So when you issue shares, there's like a process for a person to acquire the share. So first there's application and then there's allotment and then there's the calls. It could be the first call, second call, final call, no matter how, how many there are. Okay. And then we looked at the journal entries for each. Okay, give me the journal entry for application. So for application, first it's bank debit, share application credit. Okay. And then for demanding, you close the application account and you create capital account. So share application okay. debit and share capital credit. Okay, so uh, do you mean to say you demand the application or people uh, directly come to apply for the shares? No, they can come and apply. We never demand application. We application is received first. Oh, okay, yeah. people apply and then we decide whether I have to allot them shares or no. Okay. Yeah. So application is done. Wait, oh, I'm, I'm not sharing my screen. Next. Uh, next is allotment. Mm -hmm. So you have to demand that. Okay. So share allotment is debit and share capital credit. Share allotment is debit and share capital credit. Okay. And then you will receive the money from them. So mm -hmm. bank debit and share allotment credit. Okay, bank debit and share allotment credit. So in uh, the allotment, first you demand or first they pay? First you demand. Okay, so when you demand, uh, when you demand at that time, only you create the capital. Yes. Yeah. Okay, fine. Then. The calls. Can the you give calls. me the yes, entry for calls? Atiya, can you give me the entry for the calls? Uh, Natila, Atiya, Dua, I need the video on, please. Atiya, can you give me the entry for calls? Uh, for first call, we uh, debit the first call, a uh, share first call, and credit the share capital. Mm -hmm. We um, receive money. Mm -hmm. uh, where we debit the bank and credit the fir share first call. Okay, and very good. Okay, fine. Um, works proper. Okay, can you all tell me the meaning of these terms? Authorized share capital, issued share capital, called up capital, paid up capital, and calls in arrears. Authorized capital is the maximum. Uh, authorized shares. Uh, share capital is the maximum shares a company can sell. Mm -hmm. Then issued shares is the actual amount of shares sold. Mm -hmm. Called up capital is the. Natina, help. Videos, please. Oh yeah. Natila? Uh, called up capital is the amount of capital that's asked from shareholders. That to ask us. So how, how do we write the shares? Suppose we have 10,000 shares or ordinary shares. How do we write it ahead? So we say 10,000 ordinary shares. How do we write it ahead? And then you say so like 10,000 ordinary shares of, of dollars. Dollar, yeah. Dollar 10 each. Mm -hmm. And then dollar five called up. Okay. Fine. So called up capital is how much you ask from the shareholders. Okay. Now, what is this term called as? Face value? Yeah. 
Yes, this term is called as face value. Very good. And what is this term called as? Face value is also called the nominal value. Okay, what is this term called as? Called up value. What is this term called as? Called up value. Now tell me what will be the capital? Capital will be the face value or it will be the called up value? The called up value. Capital will be the called up value. It does not matter whether you received or not. Okay. It does not matter whether you receive the entire dollar five or not. What is your capital is the called up value. Okay, fine. Called up capital done. Now what are the other terms? Authorized share capital done, issued share capital done, called up capital done. What are more terms that is related to share issue? Paid up capital. Paid up capital. What is paid up capital? The amount that's actually paid up from the calls. Amount capital. that is actually paid up. And what else is there? Calls in areas. Calls in areas. What is calls in areas? The amount that they haven't paid. So called up, but not paid. OK. OK, now we are talking about issue of shares. Suppose if a share has value face value dollar 10. And it is issued at dollar 10. This means we are issuing shares at par. What does this mean? Issue shares at par. Can someone give me example of issue of shares at premium? Like if you issue a share uh, of $15 each when the face value is 10. Okay, so if shares of $10 is issued at $5, uh, $15, this is the face value and this is the issue price. This means what? This means that I have. Issued the share at premium. What is premium? Extra. Extra amount. Why does a company charge premium on the issue of shares? When the demand for the share is high and everybody wants it, they might as well make a uh, add more money after it. Yes, very good. So in that case, how much will be my capital? Share capital. Yes, how many shares are there? Take it as one only right now. Oh, it will be 50. Anybody no, no, no. with Sorry. a different answer? Sorry, it will be 10. Every time 10. Anybody with a different answer? Anybody with a different answer? No. No? Dua? No, no. No. So the capital will be always capital will be always equal to the face value of the shares. And if you have to choose between the face value or called up value, you will choose which value? The called up okay. value. OK, can you all give me the journal entry to issue the shares at premium? Share capital credit and share premium. Bank debit, share capital credit, 
and share premium credit. Give me the amount. So if bank will be 15, share capital will be 10, and share premium will be 5. Okay, fine. Lovely. Uh, you all want to write it? Please write it. I'll wait for you all. So we can issue the shares at par. We can issue the shares at premium and we can also issue the shares at a discount. So now we know that when we make statement of changes in equity, we have another separate column, which is share premium. Just tell me if it's done. Done, yes. Okay, fine. Now, what are reserves? Can you tell me what are reserves? They're like, uh, place where you keep money for other purpose. Okay, you give money or you keep aside money? You keep it aside. Which money do you keep aside? Like depending on the reserve. For example, the revenue reserve is like whatever income you get from, from trading means. You keep it aside in the revenue reserve. So can you say reserves is profits kept aside? OK, so if you keep profits aside, you keep it aside for um, in different different names. Do you know the names of particular reserves? Anybody, can you give me different names of reserves that you all know of? Come on, I'm waiting. Can you all give me names of different reserves that you all know of? Retained earnings. Retained earnings is nothing but profits kept aside. Okay. General reserve. General reserves. General reserves is a revenue reserve or a capital reserve? Capital. Who agrees with her? Who agrees that general reserve is a capital reserve? 
General reserve is a revenue reserve. What is general reserve? Revenue reserve. What are other reserves that you all know of? Come on, tell me. Miss, not sure, but is share premium also a reserve? No, I don't think so. Share premium. So whenever you issue shares at a premium, whenever you issue shares at a premium, the extra amount that you receive on issue, the extra amount that you receive on the issue of shares is credited to a separate account and the name of that account is share premium. Can you all tell me why is this share premium used? For, for like rights issue or bonus yeah. issue? Yes, the share premium is used for right issue, for bonus issue, to write off certain expenses or commission that is there. So there are specific reasons why you can use the share premium or for which you can use this share premium. Any other reserves that you all know of? Revaluation reserve. Okay, for y'all, y'all just need to know all this. So the reserves that y'all should know specifically, the retained earning, general reserves, share premium, and revaluation reserve. Okay, come on, tell me which are the reserves that y'all should know of. Retained earning, retained earning, general, general reserves, reserves share, premium. share premium, and revaluation reserve. So, can you all tell me what are the capital reserves out of the four reserves that I have mentioned above? Share premium. Share premium is a capital reserve. Very good. Which else? Revaluation. Revaluation reserve. Can you all tell me what do you mean by a revaluation reserve? Or what is it and how does this come to us? In effect, the profits you get from revaluing your assets. Okay, so the company may revalue its non current assets. The company may revalue its non current assets, and any gain that you get out of this revaluation. It is transferred to a reserve and the name of that reserve is revaluation reserve. Please note it is a capital reserve and it is used to issue shares to existing shareholders. Revaluation reserve can only be used to issue bonus shares. What is bonus shares? Can you all tell me what is bonus shares? When you sell shares for free to existing shareholders. When you sell shares for free to existing shareholders. So you in bonus shares, you're going to sell the shares. No, you give it to them for free. You give the shares to the existing shareholders at a price of free of cost. For free. For free. Very good. Can you all give me journal entry for bonus issue? Yes. 
journal uh, entry for bonus issue of shares. Is it share premium or revaluation reserve uh, debit? And then share capital credit? Yes, very good. Share premium or revaluation reserve debit. Suppose if both of this is not sufficient, you can also use general reserves or retained earnings to give your bonus shares and share capital credit. Miss why bank not debit because when you issue bonus shares, you do not receive any money. I want you all to write it. So there are two types of reserves. One is revenue reserve and one is capital reserve. I need someone to give me a two line answer for describing revenue reserves. Anybody? What is revenue reserve? Passed to a person. What happens is this white man was inside the atomic gas. Some of the trading of wildlife is being used. Yeah. So these are reserves that are created by transferring an amount from the profit for the year. They are created by transferring an amount from profits for the year. They are created to strengthen what the financial position of the company. Someone give me two examples of revenue reserves. General reserve and the earnings.
Now these small small things they come in the MCQs in theory. Come on, can somebody tell me about reserves? The classes of reserves. Can someone tell me about the classes of reserves? What is the difference between the two? Umema? Umema? Yes, can yes. I have your video on and can you tell me the distinction between the two revenue reserves and capital reserves? Uh, yes, miss. Uh, it is credited to uh, straighten the uh, financial position and capital reserve is the gain. Uh, uh, the gain that arises. Umem, I need the video on. What is capital reserve? Umem, Yes, miss. What, what uh, is capital reserve? Capital reserve is a gain we get um, um, by. From particular circumstances. Yeah, so miss, can you give me two circumstances due to which you create a capital reserve? A revaluation uh, reserves, which is the gain. By revaluing non current assets. OK, so uh, only when you get gain, you can create a revaluation reserve. Mm. Yes, yes. Natila, only when you get a gain, you can create revaluation reserves. Higher yeah. level to lower level. I didn't hear you. Yes, Miss. I think it's only when you get gains. Okay. Another circumstances due to which a capital reserve is created. Uh, share premium. Issuing the shares at a premium. What is issuing shares at a premium? Um, extra amount. Is it the extra amount? Issue the shares at an extra amount. Extra amount. And what? Can these reserves be used for the capital reserves? The capital reserves, they are used. Atiyah, what can the capital reserves be used for? For right issue and bonus issue. OK. To issue the sh fully full free shares to the shareholders for bonus issue. OK. Can you tell me the meaning of right issue? What? 
Especially sure, sure. the discounted uh, price. It's uh, it's when the no, shareholders uh, of the company get an offer to um like buy the shares before the others can. Yeah, right issue when the existing shareholders of my company are given a right to buy new shares at a price which is lower than the market price, but it is not necessarily lower than the face value. The existing shareholders are given a right to buy shares of my company before the outsiders. That issue is called a right issue. Is this done? Yes, Miss Dunn. Everybody? One of the Yes, Miss. Yes, okay, just net. I'll just post it over here. Okay, now I'll give you a sum wherein I want you all to make the ledgers related to it. Pass the journal entries. Okay, let's see how much you all know now. And I need you all to make four ledgers. One bank account, one ordinary share capital account, one share premium account, another preference share account. Yes. Yes. For the general entry of rights issue. Yeah. Is it a uh, share premium of bank debit and share capital credit? Um, just a minute. Uh, one minute. Just allow me to crop this. Yeah. Yeah, tell me. Is it a bank debit or social premium debit and share capital credit? For right issue? Yeah. It depends upon the question, dear. Probably you issue the shares at a premium, but still it is a lower price. Yeah. Okay, so share premium would be debit or credit. You would come to know only when you actually issue. If it's a question, see, I'll just write and give it to you. Suppose you give a right issue of two ordinary shares per one held. Per one held of dollar ten each at dollar twenty. So in that case, bank is debit, share capital is credit, and share premium is credit. Okay, but if you do it at dollar nine each, so it would be bank debit nine. Share premium debit one. You will use the share premium. Okay. And share capital credit 10. Share capital is always the face value or called up value. Whichever is lower. Understood? Yeah, it is expected. 
who is taking uh, other class uh, natila at your place come yeah, on sister sorry i'm not the one there okay and who is teaching her that voice sounds very familiar yeah it's miss divya okay 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 come on i want you all to pass the journal entry for this issue at the same time i want you all to prepare four accounts that was bank account ordinary share capital account share premium account and preference share capital account Is could you post the question in the chat? Yeah, sure. first thing is give me the journal entry this is not very clear the question wait now Yeah, you can see now. Okay. Somebody could give me the journal entry for the ordinary issue. Oh, Mama. Umaima, journal entry for ordinary issue. Ordinary. Ordinary. 
you are issuing shares umaima yes miss money is coming in um bank debit ordinary share credit and bank debit okay and ordinary share credit share capital credit okay fine how much money is coming in coming in 1.100000 ordinary share and 1.20 100000 ordinary shares and 1.20 per share So one twenty thousand is coming in. Yes. What would be your capital? Sh share capital. That would be credit. How much? What is the face value of the share? One point two zero. One point two zero. Okay. So capital will always be equal to the face value or called up value. Value. Yes. Whichever is. Uh, smaller. Lower. Lower. capital will be how much capital will be a uh, one hmm. what about that extra 20000 that you have received natina What about the extra twenty thousand that you've received? And the answer I think share premium. So anything that you receive over and above the face value is credited to a separate account, which is a capital reserve. and the name of that account is share premium how will i record this in the bank account atya Yes, miss. How will I record this entry in the bank account? Um, ordinary shares and share premium will go on the debit side of bank. Okay, very nice. So on the debit side of bank, I will write ordinary share capital and share premium. Mm -hmm. so your debit and your credit it is coming from bank and your debit and share premium credit tell me if you have any doubts umaima please do it carefully don't understand tell me now
Do our journal entry for the preference shares. Do our journal entry for the preference shares. Atya journal entry for the preference shares. Okay. Is money coming in Dua? Dua is money coming in? Okay, so money is coming in, so bank debit. Is capital getting created? Dua is capital getting created? Capital as debit or credit? Credit. What is the name of the capital, Atiya? In this part, what is the name of the capital? Um, preference share capital. Preference share capital, okay. How will we write it? 6% preference <coughs> share capital credit now it is the amount part it is issued at par that means nothing extra nothing less so 50000 shares of one issued at one Fifty thousand shares of one issued at one, so bank debit fifty thousand, and the preference share capital also credit fifty thousand. On the debit of the bank, on the debit of the bank, you will record this as six percent preference share capital, fifty thousand. Your debit preference share capital credit fifty thousand. Please tell me if you have doubts. 